starting here, we start to make rounds. That's a hub for uh, the processor. It's actually made out of a square piece, but we're making the shaft. So that's the part, and it came out of a square piece of tubing. So when we finish this up, it'll get uh, welded onto a um, sprocket, and this is the hub that turns the sprocket. But all the large round parts will go through here, small round parts go through here. You have two, you have two CNC uh, lathe that are turning small parts. We make our own knobs, we make our own shafts, we make our own threaded rod. Everything is basically done through here as one application. This is part of the saw area where we're actually uh, high-speed cutting aluminum. The parts can come in, be measured, cut the length, your squeegees, your flood bars. Here's the start. That's your, that's your cut for your squeegee and your flood bar before machining. How often are you replacing all these machines? Is that like just a non-stop? It's a non-stop process. They're dialed in from uh, basically, same thing we tell you guys, seven to 10 years, because you can depreciate your machines over approximately a seven year period uh, with the government. At seven years, your value is depleted on the product. Technology has superseded where you were. It's better for you to change your machine. Matter of fact, be happy and sell it to your competitor. Yeah. So he stays behind you. The guys who are buying used, they're always behind somebody else because who they bought it from is moving on up. So, yeah, all the parts, all round parts go through here. Now, just like you, you started out as a manual shop. Even machine shops need manual because you don't want to be setting up the big machines if you don't have to for long runs. So this area right here is all our manuals. So these guys are doing everything manually, but we give them a little head start. They all have a digital readout. <clears throat> and the digital readout will allow them to hold the same tolerances that those guys do on the big machines over there. Okay? That's for a uh, Challenger 2 and or a Sportsman EXG. That's the block that holds the uh, servo ball screw that turns it. You, that part is on your machine. It's made out of a solid piece of steel, so you can feel the weight. And the tolerances that are on here are absolute. We virtually do not expect you to ever replace this part for the life of your machine.